during that time, um, young man, uh, I think I was only about maybe 22, this cop, um, when he stops me, or, well, he doesn't just stop, stop me, he pulls up, I can hear he stops like right behind where I am, but I'm already at the door, and then he puts the uh, spotlight on me. I just have my um, cloth brown violin case on my shoulder, and so the guy looks at my ID and he's just like, oh, what's in that bag? And I'm just like, yeah, that this doesn't make any sense. I'm not gonna just open up my case. I didn't do anything wrong. I'm here at home, like what's going on here? Uh, he gets mad, gets frustrated, and so the guy does some kind of a move, slams me up against the hood of the car, uh, puts my violin case on the hood, and then he cuts it open with this huge knife. I'm just panicked. I'm, I'm crying, I'm scared, I'm frustrated, I'm angry. Three different police units had come, and I remember the cop going and talking to his superior, and the window was down slightly, so he was just like, well, what do you got on this guy? And he said, nothing. And he's like, you can't do this and don't have anything. You gotta find something. They just proceed, they, they let him take me to the uh, Deer Park Police Station. And right when we're going over the train tracks, he stops, picks something up outside of the car, and then closes the door, and then proceeds on. They strip searched me, held me for hours. I mean, I had to spend the night in jail. And when I was uh, released, I found I was uh, charged with criminal trespassing, uh, disorderly conduct, possession of drug paraphernalia, and what else was it? Resisting arrest. So I had four charges against me. They threw the book at me. Um, and, and that was one of the points where I really realized like how bad it was. Cause I'm like, I'm not a criminal. I don't have a criminal background. I consider myself at least somewhat educated, you know, doing things for the community. And then you made up something on an innocent person. I'm a black man who is a father. I'm a black man who is on a mission for God. I'm a black man who was a teacher, a community builder, a hard worker, a lover, a learner, and just a person that tries to share passion. I'm a human, just like you.